So let's see. Hey, you show up here. You might be dealing with a Virgo. We do have the Hermit and the Hierophant. Might be a connection, a traditional actually bond um, with a Virgo. And somebody might ha might have said no thank you with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And actually right now they are reconsidering. That's the hangman. They want to walk a mile in your shoes and try to understand where you come from. They might not make a move, but they definitely look at you. That's the swords in reverse, right? It's like the, um, the stalking card. They don't make a move, but they watch you. And then you show up in reverse. Some distance between you and this person. Can be emotional, can be physical, but most certainly distance. And in different communities, four of wands in reverse is the energy of different communities from different backgrounds, different routes, away, traveling, oops, that kind of energy. Now, bottom of the deck, well, we do have the lovers, Taurus. If you're wondering if you are loved, yes, you are loved, and yes, they want back. They might unexpectedly actually come back to you. Six of Wands. Oh yeah, they are ashamed. I'm going to take it because let me tell you. Somebody is ashamed of the missed opportunity and now they are charging forward. They might be leaving behind an ex-wife, ex-husband with children and stuff. They've contemplated for a while and now they are charging forward towards you. Unexpectedly, Three of Wands is like when you had no idea this is happening. They actually do. And lovers twice, please, I want to be a Taurus today, you know. No, I'm joking, but I just want to say, you know, lovers twice is the beautiful energy of soulmate, of a strong bond, and charging forward to take you, actually. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius can be, of course, and they've missed an opportunity, and that is no way, because they were not paying attention, right? And they are beating themselves up over this. It's the energy of stagnation ever since they've lost this or they were they didn't see the opportunity in it and now somebody is like oh, i have no time to lose so let's see what this is all about Taurus. we have past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see the current energies current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's see the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck we have the full oh yeah and the justice a new leap of faith here and if there was silence somebody wants to break the silence here somebody has something to say um but oh my god they are so determined so determined might be a libra you have air anyways surrounded by air or maybe you have air in your chart um but my god this person has clarity of the mind maybe they don't have a plan but they know they need to bring some balance to the situation some justice some fairness make a situation right again the connection between the two of you the love that they feel and they have for you so tell us in the past you and this person Oh, how come? We do have rejection and stagnation. What happened? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody said no, thank you. Maybe this connection actually never took off and now somebody is rushing towards you fully passionate and saying, come on, you promised me pussy systems or something like that, you know? <laughs> no, just joking, but you get my point, right? Because it's like, no, you said something. So, you know, I'm expecting now because you said it, you know. <laughs> and we do have the Knight of Swords in reverse again. And that's interesting because we do have Knight of Swords as the overall energy, which is the upright energy. And in the past, we had it in reverse. Somebody was upside down, was not available. Maybe manipulative a little bit. Swords in reverse, right? Playing with their words, uh, not being clear. Um, misleading can be an energy, you know. But in the end of the day, something never really took off with the page of pentacles in reverse, right? Looks like something was about to. Knight of Swords is a lot of movement. It's actually a quick shift in movement. And 
by the time it was done, it was uh, nothing actually. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now the person you are dealing with, uh, Taurus, they have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands. They were not very serious about, right? Four of Wands upright is the energy of commitment, of, of home, of um, wanting to invest in this. Um, it's an energy of celebration and being part of their community, being part of theirs. Um, all this is in reverse. So they were not really uh, committed to it, I would say. Maybe they were in for the fun, um, you know, or the energy of the playfulness, the energy of, you know, let's take it easy. No, I don't want to invest in this page of pentacles, right? Is the potential for investment. So they were not at that place just yet. Um, and maybe they were not available, you know, um, and you show up on their energy on their side. So, you know, they were aware of some of something, but in terms of our Am I going to stay for a, for a long term? I believe they were pretty clear about it. But they've been quiet about it, right? Mutual energies between the two of you, the High Priestess and the Nine of Wands. Letting go and the silent treatment, the ghosting. That's a High Priestess, the energy of intuition, knowing that, no, I am not there just yet, you know. I believe they, they didn't want something serious in the past, you know. And it's interesting because you got stuck stuck and entangled in in this energy you know because page of pentacles is the energy of hope knight of swords is the energy of movement and it was in you know in reverse in the past so somehow you are hoping with the page of pentacles and you are not doing much movement because you're hoping at some point somebody will make a move but then there was silence and hurt of course we do have nine of wands we know it's um, the wounded warrior but then we let go of the hurt, we let go of the barriers or whatever we were um, stuck to, bound to. And um, and when you let go, well, this is what happens, right? The overall energy. So where are we right now, Taurus? We are healing this broken heart of ours with the Three of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, how it feels... Right, because swords in reverse is about verbal manipulation, a sweet talker, you know, somebody who says very um, nice things and it's like, you know, it's forever and they are saying all kinds of you are beautiful and you are so and you are so and probably, you know, when it's time to um, own it up, own up to it or something, do something about, they might show up as the queen of swords in reverse. For some of you, I'm sensing you are at the stage of um, anger. It is part of the healing cycle of, um, you know, of a broken heart. And I feel that this is what's going on here for some of you. We are healing. We are giving up, you know, this energy of lying to ourselves. And and um, we are at the stage where, you know, we might be frustrated. It's like, why in the world did they do? Why me, you know? And trying to figure that out. Um, in some way, we might be also a little bit confused. Queen of Swords in reverse is also the energy of confusion. This is honestly the energy. I'm healing. I cannot think straight, you know. And that's all right. That's all right. Um, you know, it's, uh, again, part of that process. And um, and it's okay. As long as we stay safe, right? That's um, very important, actually. Um, and the Three of Swords in reverse, I simply adore it. It's like we are doing the work. So whatever you do to um, heal yourself, it's working. So keep doing it. Um, and for some of you, go check your heart. Maybe, you know, that is a, a situation there that is keeping you upside down. Um, because the combination of cards is um, a little bit... Like on, on a health side, might be some issues there. Just say. Um... So, um, so that is that on your side, Taurus, and the person you are dealing with. They do have the Two of Cups in reverse and the Judgment in reverse. The, their decision is not final, Taurus. If you are wondering if somebody is saying like, no, thank you, and uh, or you know, separating or not wanting to invest or not, um, it's not just final. Judgment in reverse and the Two of Cups. They might be disconnecting emotionally. They might have left for some of you, but it's not final, actually. The energies right now is, is of them coming back, you know. But of course, they need um, to get back in balance. Two of Cups is the energy of understanding, 
their bond and connection with you, understanding the love that they have, what to do with it. And again, the judgment in reverse can be final decision, but can also be them um, kind of reevaluating, right? Um, at this point, the bond and the connection with you. And mutual energies between the two of you. Well, that is a need for a conversation about this hurt. We do have Ten of Swords, both of you hurting like crazy. And we do have the Four of Swords in reverse. Somebody needs to address the elephant in the room. And it is the Ten of Swords. It is both of you kicking each other while you are still uh, down, right? That's the Ten of Swords, ultimate bet the ultimate betrayal. And somebody needs to say something about maybe you just did and that's how you know one is hurt and the other one is healing because maybe you spoke your truth Taurus, and and uh, then this person disconnected because truth was not something they were um, willing to deal with uh, just yet um, and honestly nine of wands in the past and of sorts right now I, and it's both mutual energy so both of you got hurt in the process here um it does look like deep wounds um Taurus. and because we do have the high priestess in the past energies it's like things were not have not been um have not been addressed in the proper time uh, you knew about it, they they knew about it, he or she, right? The person you are dealing with, they knew about it. But it was not addressed in due time and then boom, right now we do have a Ten of Swords and it's like, I don't think I love you anymore, you know? You hurt me and talk to my hand and that kind of energy, you know? Um, but needs this needs to be addressed and for some of you, you just did. That's in your, your current energy, addressing betrayal and hurt and... Um, you know, not wanting to get involved or not wanting to take this connection to the next level or ending the connection right here. But I do love the lovers and the justice as the overall energy. So we will see how it goes because can very well be new love coming your way. Uh, because right now we are healing. We are, I mean, you know, um, both of you, you are hurt actually like crazy. Uh, moving forward, Taurus, uh, we don't have expectations, right? We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands might be a fire sign you are dealing with, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And um, of course, for some of you, this is unexpected passion. Uh, this is somebody coming your way and you don't expect it and then boom. For some of you, you might be dealing with an air sign, but actually that is also a fire sign coming your way. For some of you, it's a clear message of a new love. Um, showing up because we have leap of faith and justice a new love that balances the scales and we have the lovers twice but i'm sensing for the majority we we do have the coming back card you know so while we are healing we do have the eight of cups and the three of wands unexpectedly if i actually two cards of surprises um surprise return or something like that and again you might be dealing with two energies um, might be again Aries, uh, Gemini, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and, and it might be some form of somebody coming back to you, you know. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, well, King of Pentacles, you show up here, of course, can be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, um, and we do have the Strength card, so they are staying strong, courageous, uh, they might be a Leo. Uh, they are nurturing themselves, loving themselves. They may be nurturing and loving somebody else. It can be a Leo. They are involved. Um, emotionally, it's the king of pentacles. So it's the um, uh, the energy of wanting stability or providing stability and staying strong and courageous. Uh, over this, they can embody also your energy or this can be your energy and they, um, you know, stay... Um, it's interesting because right we have them right now disconnecting and we have them with the judgment in reverse which is an energy the decision is not final and now as as the energies uh, move towards april this is somebody being kind you know that's the strength it's strength in kindness and they want to be kind towards yourself um in in some way this is um you know kind of the energy of i'm on my best behavior i'm taming I'm um, 
staying in control i'm staying courageous about it i walking the walk you know we're walking the path that they are supposed to walk and here comes that Queen of Swords again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Ten of Cups. So mutual energies between the two of you. I believe we have some homework to do here. Um, we most certainly have endings. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups in reverse. We are ending something here. Um, their energy is all over you, Taurus, and your energy is all over them. So some unfinished business here. Um, you know... Uh, some unfinished business but i'm sensing there is a strong energy of new love look at this and i know that is eight of cups in reverse somebody coming back but look here the fall and the lovers twice so i believe there is a new love coming your way um while you deal with whatever this is you know um and yeah this this cycle is not over and for some of you that is a return honestly for some of you that is a quick return of somebody who missed an opportunity and wants to balance the scales and and have this new leap of faith um and for some of you when we look at this especially and we forget about the overall energy we do have somebody um you know we have we have you healing and we have them disconnecting and maybe nurturing other energies the strength energy or the gemini libra or aquarius kind of energy you know um and this hurt needs to be addressed and there is a sense of you know both of you are not happy with what's going on right now actually i'm just saying so yeah strong energy of the new leap of faith and this can be mutual energies and they might have a Gemini or a Libra in their life. That is also the energy of justice. That is, uh, I would say, a mix of people here. And a need to get the situation healed and balanced again. Um, Taurus. It does look like a new leap of faith, honestly. Anyways, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see if we need to let go of them. Surrender to joy. You forgot to be a kid, Taurus. You forgot to have fun. So a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. Well, we do have surrender to the beauty of natural world, so I hope you enjoy like a vacation of some sort. Because you are guided actually, right? Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. I'm just saying. We do have surrender to success. This is, I feel like this is kind of the universe telling you, you know what, please enjoy yourself and thank God this was over. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities and you do have surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships, practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So let's have one um, guardian angel and then we say goodbye to us. Yeah does look like a new love over here Taurus honestly the more we have the information and now we get your king of wands again I wonder if this is not your energy getting back on horse and getting your mojo back um so guardian of action it's time for you to step up and be the leader your natural your natural leadership skills are being called into action this is your moment in the sun so move into the light and shine for all to see this card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. Um, might be a fire sign coming your way. Maybe you just, um, you know, maybe you finish some, something with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and it's a fire sign coming your way. Maybe on the contrary, you put aside um, a fire sign and then you have a new leap of faith with an air sign. It's a strong energy of two people here. Um, so Taurus, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. 
As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.